Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and I love quilting and I have quite a collection of quilt tops that definitely need to be quilted. So it's high time I get them done. So the first Thursday of every month I'm going to start a new quilting series where I can get some of these quilt tops quilted. It's going to be very exciting. We're going to cover quilting designs, techniques, notions, threads, basting, batting, tips, everything to get those quilt tops quilted. I'm going to use a domestic machine, but I'm also going to use a sit-down machine. So today I am going to set up a new space for quilting and unbox my Bernina Q20 to get some quilting done. Please join me. In North America, the Bernina Q20 comes standard with a beautiful koala table, and you can get it in many different finishes. I've chosen a white finish, and everything comes in five big boxes, but it's not as bad as it seems because most of the components are already put together. We just need to build the table. We have two boxes, and they're the legs. They're already assembled. We just need to put the tabletop on, and we do have an accessory box to finish off some little things. And of course, the biggest box is the machine itself. So the first box we need to open up is the tabletop. In there we have the directions and all the tools we're going to need. You will know the tabletop because right on the side there's a little label. It says tabletop. So let's open this up. So inside the box we have this big tabletop. The tabletop slides open and closes. And inside is where we have directions and the tools that we're going to need. Now, this is a very heavy table, so you will need help putting it together. So I have hired someone very special to help me do it. And the special person is my husband. Now, my husband usually is out fishing. He has his own YouTube channel, so he's decided to spend the day helping me. So here we go. We're going to get this set up. Hello, when everybody. When we open up the table, we'll see a larger spot and this little keyhole. This back part is where the machine is going to slide into. And as you can see, that table is sliding. So just be careful when you open it up that you don't slide it. And that's all that is in that one big box. So this will just slide right open. And inside you'll see a package that has all the tools that we're going to need. In this package, there's lots of little things that we get to start off with. Screws, and we even get the hand tools to put it together. And of course, our assembly directions. Now that we have all the accessories, we can open up the two boxes which have the right and the left legs. And the legs also come in really great packaging. We only have one leg per box. Seems like a lot of boxes, but everything's pre-assembled. And there's one leg. There's no assembly. We just need to put some pieces in so we can put the tabletop on. And those legs stand up on their own so we don't have to worry about supporting them. The directions have us lay in the table legs down so we have all of the holes facing up. We have two of these toolbox cases and they have all of these screws and things we're going to need. We're going to need these little wooden dowels and they fit into the larger holes. We will also need some cam locks. Now this is a little flat head. You will see a little arrow. The arrow will need to point on the outside of whatever we're working on. And this little piece locks inside. And that's all there is to put this together. It's very easy. The cam lock is already put right in the top. So that arrow needs to point to the outside. And they're already there, the three at the top. The larger holes are going to fit those wooden dowels. Put that wooden dowel in there and then take the end of that screwdriver and just tap it in. The rest of that cam lock has a little screw on one end and that screw part will go into those other smaller holes. You can't go wrong because it'll only fit the right size hole. So we'll need the little star end on the screwdriver and just hold it and start to screw it in. And once it gets going, it's very easy. And it needs to go all the way in until it doesn't want to go any farther. It does have a little stop on it. For each side of the leg, we're going to need five of these metal screws. 
and five of those wooden dowels and they all go on one side. You'll see the series of holes right along that one edge. This area here where we have all of the screws is actually the back of the table. Once we have the screws on and those little wooden plugs, we're going to be able to open up the accessory box. The accessory box has this piece that's going to hold the back of the table together. The accessory box comes with four big pieces inside. There are two that sort of are odd shaped. Those are going to make that table extend even larger, so we won't need them right away. Once those extensions are removed, there's an area that has three more pieces and they're going to build that back. And now we can remove this box. The larger piece already has those big screw tops in them. We just need to make sure the arrows are pointing out. And we can do that with that screwdriver. Just make sure the arrows are pointing out towards the side where you have the holes. The next piece has this little black rubber bumpers on them. We have two holes at the top and those holes will match two holes in that other second piece. And we need to put these long screws back inside. Once these two screw heads are poking out, they're gonna fit right inside those holes. And once that's down, we're going to be able to take that screw head and turn it. And what that's going to do is that's going to pull this unit in together tight and it's gonna lock it in place. These are great to use. They're very, very easy. So we're just going to put that screw head in and we're going to turn to the right. And you will feel that tighten right up and just tighten it as tight as you can. It's gonna tighten very easily and do that to both heads. Start with one of the legs and lay them down so that those screw heads are facing up. This L piece that we just assembled will have some holes on each side and they will fit along those wooden dowels and those screws that are closer to the bottom of that leg. So we can just pick this up and it just will fit right together with a little wiggle you're going to be able to get that down. And we will have two of those screw heads to tighten, same as we did before. Just turn right and it's going to pull that down really tight. The larger piece you will see some screw heads on one side. These screw heads are going to face up and you'll be able to see where these all line up. Same thing, just drop it into those holes and we have three screws to tighten. So we have one side already put on. We need to pick up the second leg and place it right on top. And this is where we need some help. And you will see where these screw heads will fit all the way into those holes. And they fit right in. The same screws we tightened on the bottom, we need to tighten on the top. We can just lay the table back on its legs. And that's all there is to build the leg portion. We have the two legs and this back brace. We will need to put a series of dowels and screws in the tabletop, but we can do that standing up. So just take one of the tabletop boxes and put it on top, and that's going to protect everything from not getting scratched. Now we can take that tabletop and it's going to go upside down on top of the table. As you're taking this table and lifting it upside down, remember that this does slide open. So we want to keep that in mind. So just turn it upside down. Start with putting that one long metal screw right in front of that long hole. You'll find two holes right beside this long piece. And those are mounting holes. They're going to work when we put the table upside down. So put your metal bar there and that way we know not to screw into those holes. And we also need the same up at the top. We're not using the holes right now. This is just so that we don't accidentally fill them. So we have one screw in the center, four screws on each side, and eight dowels. Then once those are in, we can remove that. Remove the tabletop and just place it on the floor. And now we can remove that box. That just helped everything from not getting scratched. When we look at the tabletop, we will see this one square hole. That's the front. Pick this up and this is where we're gonna need help and we're gonna flip it and place it on top of the legs and all of those little screws and the dowels are going to fit in all of those holes. And just a reminder, this does open up. Be sure to keep it together. You can always look from underneath to see where those holes line up. Once they line up, the weight of the table just pretty much goes on its own. So just give it a little push, make sure it's secure. 
Now we're going to have to crawl underneath and tighten all of those screw heads. Now here's the fun part. This reminds me when I was a child playing in a tent. And that's all there is to putting this table together. We have our two legs, the back, and the tabletop. All of those screws and wooden dowels just fit together like puzzle pieces. And this tabletop does open up. And those two extra pieces fit here as extensions. But in the back, there is an area that we can store them. But we'll store them after because right now we get to put the machine on the table. In a larger bag, we did have some rubber and some other metal pieces. And that's what's going to help us mount the machine onto this table. So the only thing we need to do is add that rubber piece and now we get to open the machine. So let's get to that box and open up the box and see the Q20. When we open up the box, don't be surprised that the Q20 is not sitting right on top. It is very well protected. But we do have some accessories that need to go with the machine so we can take all of these out. And don't forget your machine pedal. I've just taken all those accessories and I've put them right inside that little table. Now, when we lift this up, ta-da, there she is. Very well protected. To protect the table from scratches while we work on the machine, just close it up, take that top piece of cardboard. Now we can take the machine and put it on top of the cardboard. We just want to adjust some feet on the bottom. On the bottom of the machine, you're going to see these two screw heads that can slide along the bottom. Move it so it's about six inches from the needle side over and then the next screw needs to go at the 24 inch mark. They're going to move a little bit but that just gives us an approximate as we're moving things. Place the machine upright and the large side is going to go to the back and of course the needle side is going to come in the front. And it's going to fit right in that slot. The back of the machine is going to be flush with your tabletop. In that second toolbox, you're going to see a section with just two screws. We're going to take those two screws and those mounting bars. We need to put those mounting bars in upside down, just like we had when we were putting in those screws and dowels. The end of these screws are going to fit into those two little pieces that we moved along the bottom machine. So we had the six inches and the 24 inches and they sort of line up. So we're going to be able to go under the machine and just fit those right in. And you're going to be able to see those little screw heads and you can move them again if they've moved. On each side of the machine, you're going to see two holes. They fit this large bolt and it's going to drop inside and it's going to go through that metal bar that we put. So we're going to have the bolt and then underneath the washer and that little stopper. So they're going to be screwed together but through this table. So we're going to be able to drop that in, line up that metal bar, and put them in. So we have two on one side, two on the other. And the screwdriver with that big fat end on is what you're going to need to tighten them up from underneath. We need to attach this metal bracket to the back of the machine. The very bottom, there are two screws. And you'll be able to find a screwdriver that has a little hex. And that screw is going to fit right with that screwdriver. Turn to the left and take those screws out. We're going to put this metal bracket in place and then put those screws back in. The two holes in the bottom will fit two screws and that really is going to anchor this down so there will be no moving of the machine at all. Once this bracket is put in, we will be able to plug in our power cord and it only fits one way. You'll find a space between the back of the machine and that's designed to hold the extension tables. So when you're not needing them, you have a great area to store them and they'll be safe. And they fit right inside and lean up to the back. Let me show you how these extension tables do work. The compact part of the table, we can just close it and this gives us a nice big work surface. Even though it's small, it does give us a big surface. If you want it bigger, we get to add those extensions in. And there's an extension for each side. You can see how the shape is going to already fit together. Both of the extensions fit on and there we go. That is a nice big surface to work with. When you don't want those extensions, those little two extensions are the ones that fit in the back. Now we can plug in the foot pedal. 
the foot pedal has the cord wrapped up inside. So we can just undo that and attach it to the machine. The foot pedal gets plugged in to the right front of the machine. We can attach this cord underneath the table and we'll be able to use these little clips and screws. Those clips will fit right on that cord. And with that screw, it attaches underneath the table. You'll see areas where you can put these screws in underneath the table. And that way you can guide the cord and the foot pedal where you feel most comfortable. When we finish putting everything together, we are going to have some leftover wooden dowels, screws, nuts and bolts. Don't worry about it. We're supposed to have those leftover. You don't use them all to put the machine together. And of course, we do have the manual on how to work the machine. We still have to put some accessories, the spool holders and everything on that machine, but we are going to do that later. But right now, we're going to do the official ribbon cutting. With each machine, you will notice a card and a certificate attached to it. The name on that certificate is the person who has built the machine from the ground up and has tested the machine. So one person has taken pride and has built each machine. So in this case, I'd like to send a special thank you out to Kai. And now I get to do the official ribbon cutting. And this is a moment I've been waiting for. Yes! And now I can turn on my machine and it's right here above the cord. It does take a moment to warm up and then it has a little bit of a burp and it's going to get started. There we go. I have a lot of quilt tops to do, a lot of fun notions and threads to use. So I do hope you join me the first Thursday of every month where we're going to do all sorts of different types of quilting, threads, notions, and techniques. And next month, we're going to set up the machine and we're going to start quilting. And our first quilt we're going to do is called air quilting. I do hope you join me. And thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.